Mona's, Mona's was a safe space for individuals to openly express and explore identities. Its power was in its public visibility of queer sexual and social identities, a power that continues as we all watch this together today. The power that I personally find in Mona's Candlelight, the film and the location, 65 years after this was recorded, is the power of preservation to uncover and present the voices who are always present in our history, but whose stories we might not have had the opportunity to know. And speaking of voices, um, I should note that the sound in this film is at sometimes difficult to hear. Three different laboratories work to restore the sound on this film. That's not even the image, just the sound. Uh, before I stop talking and let this clip begin, um, I'd like to point out that preservation doesn't have to take the form of three established California libraries restoring the soundtrack. Hmm. We can actively take steps to archive, maintain, and preserve our own photographs, eye videos, or what have you. Simple actions like labeling and dating materials, creating duplicates and moving your photo album to a cool, dry place as opposed to storing it in a non-AC U-Haul unit can help ensure that the power of representations of the communities that we're each a part of can be felt when our voices are no longer around. 